Edgar Berlanga goes the distance with Damon Nicholson. Let's talk about it. Well, there's always a first time for everything. And last night was the first time for Edgar Berlanga to go the distance. It was an eight round fight. He wins by unanimous decision over tough Damon Nicholson. Let's uh, jump into the, the pros and the cons. Let me, let me start with Edgar uh, Belanga on this one. The pros were the hard shots that he was throwing. He was throwing different shots. He was throwing the hook. He was throwing the straight right hand, the looping right hand. He was even trying to mix some uppercuts in there. I like the fact that he stood in there and still kept his fight going, even though he realized he was not going to get a first round knockout. I, I like his poise. He did not seem to be over anxious in there. He didn't let the, the fans in the building rile him up because a lot of times, you know, you will see a fighter uh, lose his composure because the fans are there and they're, hey, they came to see a knockout. Let me throw some unnecessary shots. He didn't do any of that. He stayed in his shoes and he finished the fight strong. The cons would be body work. Edgar did not do enough body work. And no, I don't want to hear about those three body shots you saw him throw. You saw him throw. He did not do enough body work. In the first round, it looked like he might go there when he threw that straight right to the body. I thought that was a good sign. But as the fight went on, he did not do enough body work. And if he would have, he would have got Nicholson out of there. And he said at the end of the fight that his trainer, Andre Rozier, was upset with him because he said, you know, you should have done a little more body work. You didn't follow instructions clearly. He was too busy looking at the head trying to get that knockout what about Demond Nicholson I knew that when I saw his record that this fight was uh actually my prediction was that Edgar would win within three rounds by knockout once I saw Nicholson's record but that wasn't the case the pros would be that Nicholson showed his veteranship in there I do. I know we uh, we don't like holding and I'm one of those people, too. But I do like holding when a fighter is hurt. I like the fact that when the mind was getting hurt, he was trying to hold to keep himself up. I like the fact that he was using his jab that, that for most of the fight, he was using distance. He was circling. He was trying to not let Edgar plant his his feet. And he was very tough in there. I do like the fact that he's mixing his shots up. He was even going to the body. The cons, though, would be. At times when he was hurt, he was standing against the ropes. And against a hard puncher, you cannot stand against the ropes and let that puncher plant their feet. That's one of the things he he, he was doing. And I didn't like the fact that his, his shots started to get a little slow in the end. That's how he was getting caught with a lot of those counter shots because his shots started be, to... to to wear down, he started to you know wear down himself. As for the fight, I thought it was a pretty good fight. Eight rounds of action, and Edgar Belenga does his thing. He wins by unanimous decision. I think it was good that the young man got some rounds and got the experience, which leads us to what do we want to see from here? What do you want to see him do next? I was thinking that putting him in there with another veteran or two would definitely help the young man. Uh, Gabriel Rosado is at the super middleweight division, and uh, and Dom is also still fighting and he's at and he's in that division. Those are two fighters that I think would give Berlanga another good fight. Guys that probably would go the distance, particularly uh, uh, Gabriel Rosado, that can go the distance, get him some rounds and get him some experience as he moves up to 10 rounds, which I'm assuming is going to happen soon. Other than that fight, fans, it was a pretty good fight. Give me your thoughts on it. Did you enjoy it? Did you uh, see anything that Edgar could have done different to maybe get the knockout a little bit earlier? And what do you want to see him do from here? Other than that, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so we can talk boxing. That's all I got, Fight Fans. I'll let y'all later.